If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe for the Amber Vibe. I love to go thrift shopping. I think it's a great sustainable way to um, keep up my fun shopping habits, but you know, I'm also saving the environment because if I'm buying the stuff, then it's not ending up in the landfills and creating a better environment. I am not uh, contributing to fast fashion and uh, you know bad conditions in the workplace, in factories overseas, and even factories here where people are working and making fast fashion and things are just coming out. I think it's better to just buy second hand. You can find things at garage sales, estate sales, uh, thrift shops, um, second hand, you can find things on Poshmark and other websites online, Depop and Etsy. I, I could keep going on and on and on. Uh, Craigslist, um, classifieds, there's things that you can buy second hand and it makes a difference. And also it's just fun. It's, for, it's the hunt. I love like just looking at different things. I don't know. It, it might be weird. Why do I like just looking at different things? That's pretty, isn't it? Yes, yes. I like moo moos. Let's see what else we have here. These are comfy. I can't remember, I'm with it.
It is now three hours later and a hundred dollars later and I have all of the stuff that I bought here. I'm excited to show you what I got. Um, it's a lot. So here we go. Let's just get, jump right in. First of all, it's not all fashion stuff. A couple little boxes. I'll go buy those real fast. Um, like this. I bought this little uh, sewing box. Really, really cute. It was only two dollars. Started with that. That's the first thing. And here we go. Let's do this. Open it up. I got two of these camo jackets because what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to rip rag them, which is my brand, and I'm going to cut off the bottoms and make them kind of like a little crop top uh, jacket. And these were $2 each for camo jackets. That one's plain. And this one says uh, something on it. What does it say? Terrell. This one is Terrell's jacket. Marines. Hey, that's cute to wear on the 4th of July or something. Or any day, really. So there's that. Then I did get this cute little dress. Let's see. This is Diane. Oh, what is this name? Diane Glass? I'm going to have to look up this brand because I don't know it. Um, but it is so cute. It's still inside out. Because I asked, I did try it on in the store, as you saw, from my insane trying on thing. So it's kind of like a nice cotton material. I love the buttons on this, though. Look at these buttons. How cool are these buttons? Nice. And it's like a nice kind of like good material. Um, and it's a dress and it has pockets like the one that I have on so I know that this is going to get worn a lot and I paid nine dollars and 99 cents for this that's dress one laundry um, I got some bare minerals makeup that was still sealed and closed three dollars and 99 cents another pair because I just can't get enough of the 501s. These were $5.99 and they're already cut off at the bottom which I like and I do that to all of my jeans. Lots of lots of buttons on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Like So they're like high top and they have a little bit of a wedge on the butt so we'll look cute. Sorry about that. I had to do like a little quick um, battery change. Okay, the next thing is this dress. I think this is the one that was, yeah, um, it's from Hout Hippie brand and it is $14.99. It's a wrap around dress. It's really cute. It's frilly at the bottom. The material is um, kind of nice. It has a lining underneath it, which I do like. And I like the colors. And there is a little bit of this blue and orange. So we could not have that without the cool hat to go with it. It's going to look really cute together. Definitely. The hat was $4.99. I like it. I like it a lot. Inside the hat it has a thing where you can like tighten the hat if you want to or loosen the hat. That's a good score. I love that. I need more hats that have a little bit of color because all my hats are like either black or brown. So this is going to be a cute little outfit. I can't wait to wear that. Let's see. Oh, another little box to put stuff in. This is like a little vintage box. Love it. Okay, I could put something like tarot cards or whatever in this. $3.99 for my box. That didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> okay. Next thing I got is a cool uh, belt. Hi, Chanel. I see you. Are you helping me with me with the video? And this is a really cool belt buckle. Let's see. Let me show you this. Look at that belt buckle. Very, very Old West. I like it. Um, it does have like a stamping on the back of it and a leather belt to go. So I can wrap that belt around an outfit and make it stylish. So as you know, I have a pink bathroom because the house is, um, was 
built specifically with a pink toilet and a pink bathtub so I painted the walls pink to go along with the theme and finally I splurged and I bought pink and white curtains to go in the bathroom they're gonna look really really good so I gotta wash those so they have like a lining on the back so they're really heavy and good quality how much were these let's see how much how much how much how much twelve dollars and ninety nine cents for these that's a good price for curtains I also have um, the long curtain rod that I bought that I already put up in the bedroom and it is uh, it was five dollars okay. so to have like curtains and a curtain rod for but however much that is together that's really a good buy so here's something that I got from my Kai boy my little dog they were a dollar each and these are stair runners so they have like a little bit of a grip on the back of them and they're like this and I wanted to put these around like by our little steps so that our little dog can get up and down a little easier so we bought about six of these they were a dollar each there were still more there we should have bought all of them I thought but Brian didn't think we needed all of them so we didn't up next another cute little box this box was two dollars and ninety nine cents it's just a cute little wicker box and I can put things in I'm trying to get organized by um, putting my sewing things and my embroidery things and my earring making things all in different boxes my makeup whatever so that it will just look more more neater it will look more better <laughs> um, we have the rest of these there we go and Brian got a couple pairs of shorts Brian where's your shorts you didn't get them. Okay, he didn't get them. You didn't get it. So you didn't get anything then? No. Okay. Well, thank you for coming with me anyway. What? I said thank you for coming with me anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and that's all I got for this thrift haul. And I say all I got. It was $100 for all of this stuff. So um, that's quite a bit of money to spend at a thrift store. Usually I spend like 30 or 40 when I go on it. But when I take the hubs... I spend a little bit more because I can get away with a little bit more so I don't know but it's fun so thank you for going with me thrift shopping and I think you guys are awesome and amazing and fantastic and all of that kind of stuff and I will see you next time I hit the thrift shops until next time let's have a thriftastic day bye